got lost after this. <laughs> Today, we're here at Harvard Westlake and we're gonna teach three Olympic water polo players how to do synchronized swimming. Let's see if they can keep up. Hi, I'm Rachel. I've been playing water polo for about 20 years and I play for the USA women's water polo team. I'm Elise. I've been playing water polo for about 17 years and I play for the USA women's water polo team. I'm Ashley. I've been playing water polo for 16 years. I am a part of the USA Women's National Water Polo Team, and we're going to be competing in Tokyo in 2020. I'm Danielle. I've been doing synchronized swimming for 10 years. I swim with the Santa Clara Aquamates, and I'm also a coach. My name is Patrice. I've been swimming synchronized swimming nationally for over 10 years, and I currently coach with the Los Angeles Synchronists. My name is Joe Beth. I've been a synchronized swimmer for over 20 years, and I currently coach for the Los Angeles Synchro Nymphs. So the first challenge that we have for you guys today is going to be the arm sequence. Now, normally with the novices and the beginners, we teach them how to egg beater or tread water first. But since that technique is already utilized in your sport, we can just go straight to the arm sequence. Now the cool thing about the arm sequence is that it can show both the artistry and the athleticism in the sport when you're doing it in front of a panel of judges at a competition. So this arm sequence is first gonna have a boost where you're gonna try to boost as high as you can showing your entire suit and a very pretty arm position followed by a nice eight count of just different arm strokes that we'll be choreographing today. I mean, it's gonna be hard, but I definitely have the treading down, I think. <laughs> There's just a lot going on. I think I need you to break it down a little bit more, but I'll give it a shot. I definitely got lost after the first hand uh, <laughs> hand movement. So break it down for us. You got it. Break it down. All right, so let's have y'all hop in the water. Woo! Now normally with synchronized swimming, we set choreography accounts. It helps to synchronize with the people and it also helps to synchronize with the music as well. So what we'll start is gonna be the boost followed by the arm strokes that you guys saw me do earlier. Sound good? Yes. First things first, I want to see how you guys do your boosts. <laughs> go ahead, okay. you want to go ahead? <laughs> Love it. Air Jordan. <laughs> so in synchronized swimming, it's really important that we focus on precision of our movement. We want to be nice and sharp and quick, especially if we want to synchronize with other people. So what I want to see from you guys is more of a Boom, boom, like nice and sharp. All right, so now for the actual choreography. So you're gonna do your first boost, you're gonna bring your arms in and then with out. So with the count, you'll hear four taps. That means five, six, seven, eight. You'll boost on one, bring your arm in two and out three. Following the boost, you're gonna be underwater for four, five, six, seven, eight okay. to get you to reset. From there, you're gonna surface facing me with your left arm first. You're gonna push out, you're gonna surface and push out on one, up and over. Look at your arm two, right arm forward three, up and over four, and then your left arm is gonna meet your right arm five, and you're gonna turn your body. Sounds good? Yep. So we'll do it twice. The first time will be with me, the second time I'll watch you guys. Okay. Sounds good? Yeah. Yeah. And under. You can do it. Let's do it. All right. I'll give you guys double tap. Ready? Under. Five, six, seven, eight. Up, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight. Left, over, right, over, together. Nice. That was better. Yeah. Nice. Good job. High five on the round. Woo! Good job. Good job. Oh I definitely got lost in the choreography. <laughs> it was like, I'm supposed to be dancing, I'm supposed to be really precise. <laughs> but it was fun. It was a lot harder than I thought it would be. It was tough to like gauge where all my friends were next to me. It was like, I knew what I was doing, but I was like, ah, I don't know what my friends are doing. That's funny that she says that because in water polo, it's really important to be really aware of what everyone's doing, but they were both right in front of me. 
so I could see them, but they couldn't see what I was doing. I think the arm sequence was a little bit easier for us because we're using our legs to stay up and that's what we do every day in our sport. So the arm sequence was just adding a little bit of flair. <laughs> the biggest thing I think that they should work on is going to be presentation. And there's a little bit of uncertainty in their movement, which is totally okay. But the important thing in synchronized swimming is to establish that coordination in the choreography so that way they can build their confidence bit by bit. Okay, so for our second challenge today, you guys are gonna learn how to do a ballet lay. So basically you're gonna lay out onto your back. I'm gonna have you guys make sure that you're sculling. Sculling is a technique that we teach our athletes so they can stay above the water. For the ballet leg, you're gonna have to lay out onto your back, make sure your toes are up, hips, head is back, shoulders are up while you're sculling. You're gonna go into a bent knee position, go up to a ballet leg position, and then you're gonna go ahead and go back to a bent knee position, and then you're gonna lay out on your back. It was, it was beautiful. You did it so slow. I was anticipating like a quick, you know, like sharpness, like we were doing with our hands, but you were so slow. And then I was thinking about how much more sculling that was going to have to be. That didn't sound very enjoyable, but I'm excited to try it. I can scull, but I can't point my toes. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm really nervous. I think it's going to be fun though. Okay. So the first step to a ballet leg is making sure that you have a really nice, good layout first. So you're going to lay with your head this direction. Make sure your toes are up, hips are all the way up, head is all the way back. Okay, ready to try it? Yeah. Go ahead and lay out. Good. Try to get your hips up, feet up, feet together. Squeeze those hips. Good job, ladies. Oh. <laughs> and that was just the layout. We <laughs> went all over the place. So the next part is very similar to your first challenge. You're gonna wanna do it with count. I'm gonna give you guys five, six, seven, eight. Then you're gonna go to a right bent knee. One, two, three, hold four. Ballet leg, five, six, seven, eight. Back down, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And make sure you guys have your hips up. Ready? Go one, two, three, hold four. Lift five, six, seven, eight, and down. Two, three, four, lay up. Seven, eight. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's not bad. That was pretty good. The big part to synchronized swimming is extension. You know how your legs are kind of slightly bent like this? You want to make sure that you extend and try to get your leg as straight as possible. And then also when you guys are laying back out, get your hips back up and make sure that you guys are scrolling as close to your hips as possible because of the pull of gravity, right? So when you're in that ballet leg, you're holding it up there. Ready? Go ahead, hips in line. Good, go ahead and lay out, toes pointed, legs are extended. Five, six, seven, eight. Bend one, two, three, four. Lift five, six, seven, extend. Down, two, three, four, lay out. Six, seven, eight. Head back, head back, finish strong. There we go. I thought they did pretty well. They were pretty good with the sculling because they said they naturally scull in water polo. But I definitely have to say like the extension and pointing the toes is probably their biggest challenge. I mean, it was hard. The precision, the sticking with the timing, the slow movements, and then nose plugs. <laughs> they hurt. <laughs> it was hard to see when you're looking straight up in the sky. And I'm also just like the most unflexible person of all time. So my leg was like half bent the whole time. <laughs> Yeah, that was way, way tougher than I thought it was gonna be. My hips were just sinking, and then I was like scolding with my off leg, and I was getting told to keep it straight, and then I started laughing, and then the nose piece, and I started choking, and more <laughs> laughter. That was way harder than I thought it was gonna be. Hey ladies, so the third challenge we have for you guys is called a hybrid. A hybrid is a different components of different figures basically mixed together. The reason we do this is to make things more complicated. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> and what you're gonna do, you're gonna go into the water, into a pike position, and you're gonna lift your leg up, and then you're gonna bend it. And after bending it, we're gonna go down to a submerged, and you're gonna rise out the water, you're gonna thrust. So that's where we're gonna practice. There's just a lot going on there. I'm a little bit nervous, but it looks cool, so hopefully we can pull it off. The way you had to just move your body, I don't know if my body bends that way, so it, it should be pretty interesting. I was trying to place my eight count on it, and I was like, one, two, three, four. <laughs> it's gonna be tough. 
So in order to have you guys do this uh, barracuda that we are going to dress up, I'm going to have you guys um, do it outside the water first. Okay, so for the thrust, the barracuda, what we're going to do, you're going to go face and touch your toes. You're going to scoop the water. You're going to turn your hands at your hips. Okay? Keep your body, your arms closed and push. You do not want to do this and let your arms go. The moment you do this is when you fall over. Okay, let's read in the water. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so for the first part, you're gonna sit up, five, six, seven, eight. You're gonna go on your side, one, two, three, four, and that's when we're gonna pipe on five. Now from there, we're gonna lift up your right leg, one, two. You're gonna go into something called tube top on three. Your right leg goes up, okay? You're gonna bend your left, and you're gonna bring down your right. Okay. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. Okay, <laughs> okay ready? Five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. <laughs> when you guys bend your leg, you want to make sure that your knees are together. Okay, okay. okay. Do you guys want to move on? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. Hit us with that thrust. Remember the thrust. So you guys want to go into a 90 degree angle, okay? From there, you guys want to get your face as close to the surface as you guys can without actually coming out of the water. And then you guys thrust. Wait, let me take our breath. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> you have to okay. hold it. Okay, let's do it. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, it did not go well, honestly. It was just whoo, way over my head. Uh, my flexibility zero. Trying to get myself out of the water was scrolling zero. I'm definitely one of those people who watches other sports and I'm like, oh, I can do that. So I came into this really overconfident and <laughs> just really humbled me, knocked me down back, like Rachel said zero with everything across the board. <laughs> so I think that since they have the egg beater down and the arms was like the best thing for them, being underwater is a completely different story. Like they said, it looks easy, but it's really not. They actually were able to get up and do the thrust, which was actually like one of the hardest things. So I was really impressed with them and I am very proud of them that they actually were able to do this. So for our fourth challenge today, we're going to be teaching you guys how to do a lift. Now, the lift is the ultimate display of athleticism in the sport of synchronized swimming. We're going to do what's called a tripod lift. It's because there's three of you guys. This is the type of lift where you're going to start with one person who's going to be coming out of the water and then two people underneath her holding her feet and pushing her up. So the three of us are going to demonstrate to you guys how this lift is going to be working. We're going to be lifting Jokova. No, it looks it looks pretty interesting. Apparently, I'm supposed to be the one that's in the air, so uh, it could be really interesting. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I'm really excited for this one. Everything so far has been kind of an individual skill, and this is a lot of teamwork. So I think this one will be really fun. I'm not sure how easy it'll be, but I'm excited to try it. Yeah, I'm excited to time this with Al because we're gonna make Rachel fly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the way that this lift is gonna work is we're gonna start with both of you guys underneath. Rachel and holding her. You're gonna have your feet totally still. It is their job to move and control your legs. Your job is gonna be two things. The first thing is to be quick when you stand up. And the second job is, well, smile. <laughs> look pretty. Look pretty, look pretty, make it look good. For you guys, the way this is gonna work, you're gonna hold on to her feet like so. You wanna be as close to her feet as possible the further away, the harder it is going to be to actually push, right? When you start, I'll give you guys a full eight count. I'll give you ready. One, two, three, four is your prep time. On count five, six, seven, eight, it's what's called a rush. Rushing is this buildup of potential energy that's going to explode into this kinetic energy, right? Because this is the ultimate team part of the sport, there are risks. We don't want Rachel falling on you guys. So when you're lifting up on one, hold on to her feet, 
pull her down on count three. And as you're pulling her down, move your body away. Okay? Got it. Does that sound good? Yep. All right, guys, let's do it. Under. Good. Just quick correction. You were really overpowering. That's oh, fine. She's so, stronger than me. <laughs> so that means that you gotta catch up to her. <laughs> Push harder. So it's so for you specifically, it's just your follow through. So you're releasing too soon. Okay. Okay. I'll fall on Ashley, don't worry. <laughs> It was really fun. I didn't have to do much work other than uh, hold my body in a very straight position and be pretty at the top. <laughs> yeah, this one was definitely, I feel like, the most applicable. Like, we're not lifting people, but it felt secure. It felt cool working together. It felt cool using our strength, our leg strength, our arm strength all together. But I love the teamwork aspect of it. I kind of felt like a little kid at the lake with my family and just, like, throwing each other around, but that one was the most fun. They definitely have the strength, they have the coordination, and they even have the teamwork too. Because lifts is definitely the display of teamwork in the sport of synchro. And they have it all. So, I mean, you guys want to go to Tokyo for synchro? Okay, girls. So it's the final challenge. Now I'm gonna have you guys put together all the different challenges that you guys learned earlier today and we're gonna put it together in a routine. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Now, yeah. are you yeah. ready? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so the first thing that's gonna happen is you guys are gonna actually start with the lift first because usually when you do a routine, we always start with the lift and the routine. And then you guys are gonna go into the arm sequence that you guys learned first. And then you guys are going to go into the ballet lay. And then lastly, you're going to do the hybrid that you guys learned. It looks complicated. I'm uh, really curious to see how we can synchronize this together. It's going to be interesting. I think we just got to go for it. No more talking. Let's just jump right in. Okay, girls. So it's routine time. Make yeah. sure you guys are in a tight formation. So again, once you guys are done with the lift, Rachel peek out a little bit. And then Ashley and Elise kind of go a little bit behind her. But make sure that you guys are in your window. Okay? Okay. Ready? Okay. okay. So I'm gonna say under, and you'll hear one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, up on one. We got it. Got it? Got Ready? It. Under. One, two, three, four, five. One. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then one, two, three, four, up, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, lay out, six, seven, eight. Sit up, two, turn, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go one, two, three, four. Once you guys go one, two, three, four, you need to get close to the surface, five, six, seven, eight. I think you guys were under the water a little bit too long. Yeah, I lost it. Yeah. Okay, so make sure you're listening to the count. And I'll count just a little slower for this part for you guys. Okay? Okay. Ready? Okay, under. Five, six, 
seven, eight, sit up, two, turn three, four, hold, six, seven, eight, go, one, two, three, four. really fun. I just think to go in lighthearted and have fun with it was the right attitude. I loved learning the elements, like breaking it down and then being able to put it all together. It was just a really fun performance. I want to take it on the road, like perform it everywhere I go. <laughs> well, I thought the beginning was great. Like I said, I think the lift is something that we're the best at, which is good because it's a team, team based thing. One thing I was super impressed with was definitely their um, strength, especially when it came to the lift. Their lift came all the way out of the water with her toes probably surfacing, which is really good. So they actually did pretty darn well, especially that last part when they did the barracudas, they were all synchronized. We're all looking like, <gasps> Look at that, they did it. The Barracuda, which was the very last part of the hybrid, they were able to get up and they got up really high. So I'm very impressed and I'm very proud of them. I got a little lost uh, once I went underwater, uh, especially towards the end. Um, it was a little difficult to keep the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight going in my head while I was also thinking about like, okay, point your toes and smile and all these other things. The hardest part about it for me was having pretty hands and pretty feet. Like, it's so hard. I <laughs> have no training in musicality or precision or anything like that. So I really struggled with it. The most difficult part was definitely the hybrid portion of the routine where we had to kind of like go underwater, lift our legs up, but we were flipping and turning so much that we couldn't see each other. We couldn't talk to each other. I really like being able to see and talk to my teammates when I play water polo and synchronized swimming, you cannot do that. Well, it's they have other ways of doing it, but I like being above the water. Synchronized swimming is one of my favorite sports and it's always been something that I've looked to since treading is very similar. I think I'll take the beauty of it and bring it to how I lunch. Like I'm gonna be like, <laughs>